morning. We are here with the Pontotoc Master Gardeners and we're here to show you about composting. We are a volunteer organization. We are trained by the Mississippi State Extension Office in horticulture and we provide community service and advice to the citizens of Pontotoc County. And today we're going to be talking about compost. Our first speaker is Ms. Phyllis. I'm Phyllis High, representing the Master Gardens of Pontotoc, and we're going to start off talking about what is compost. Compost is a dark, crumbly, partial decomposed form of organic waste that has not been fully decomposed into humus, which is the organic component of soil. Compost is an excellent soil conditioner. Why make compost? According to the United States Composting Council, up to 67% of materials going to our landfills can be composted. Composting can reduce our city's cost of transporting, disposing, and processing organic waste materials. By composting these organic waste material, homeowners can produce beneficial material that can be used in the garden, lawn, and landscape. It is an ecologically sensible and environmentally safe way to use organic waste material. The easiest method of composting organic waste material is simply to make a pile you can, you may want to have your own type of bin or enclosure. You can purchase a bin or you can make one yourself. If you're making one yourself, a wire enclosure is very easy and efficient. The sides should be loose enough to allow for air circulation. Use posts to support your wire fence. Your fence needs to be about three feet high, about three feet wide and the compost will be placed in the center. Another structure for making a compost bin is the three-chambered bin. You essentially make three of these, and you begin by mixing the compost in one bin. When it is full, take the compost, put it into the second bin, and when that bin fills up, it will go into the third bin, and you begin filling the first bin again. Final bin will have your cured compost. You'll add brown materials and you'll add green materials. Brown materials are typically a high carbon, low nitrogen ratio, such as your leaves, it also includes straw, sawdust, newspaper. yard waste, cardboard, dry grass clippings. These are considered as the brown materials. The green materials have high nitrogen, low carbon ratio. This consists of your fresh grass clippings, your fruit and vegetable waste, eggshells, hair, livestock manure, coffee grains, tea bags, and these are considered as your green materials. The composting process is more efficient with small waste particles. The waste material should be shredded, grounded, or clipped into small particles that are practical. Mowing and bagging is an efficient way to handle grass, clippings, and leaves. Brush and tree limbs must be chipped into smaller pieces. In general, use twice as much of the brown material as the green material. 
while all organic materials will decompose, not all are suitable to include and to be included in your compost pile. Avoid dise diseased plants, weeds, grease, fats, and oils, meat scraps or bones, sawdust or wood shavings from preserved wood. These may contain harmful chemicals. Thank you. Compost is ready to use when your pile has cooled back down to normal temperature. It is dark and crumbly and has a fresh earthly smell. Typically this will take around six months. Depending on whether you turn it or how often you turn it and weather conditions. Compost is used primarily as a soil amendment. You can also use it as a mulch around your fresh flowers. Uh, it adds texture and water holding capacity to sandy soils. If your soil has a lot of clay in it, it breaks up those little clay particles and improves the drainage. If you need more information, see MSU Extension Publication number 1782. How to speed up the process. Organic waste in your compost pile or bin will decompose naturally if left alone, but you can take steps to increase the rate of decomposition. If you use um, twice a month a pitchfork to turn the pile, it will speed up the composting process with the microorganisms uh, in the interior of, of the pile moved around. And so you can also insert a perforated drainage pipe into the uh, center to introduce oxygen to the compost bin. So those two things, twice a month, will work for you. During dry periods, decomposition and composting will stop when the moisture level is below 15%. So you'll need to water but overwatering can lead to logging conditions and create an uh, odor that you won't find favorable. Thank you for joining us today and learning a little about compost. And we hope you'll be able to make some in your garden and use it. When it's finished, you'll have a nice, crumbly, earthy smelling soil amendment. Add that to your plants to give them fertilizer, help them to grow, add it to your garden, spread it in your lawn, and feel good about saving the environment.